So a friend of ours in the DJ Video Cave for us in Texas was asking about lighting control. He doesn't want to do DMX at all. All he really wants to do is have the ability to turn one light off and to turn another light on. Now he understands that there's a duty cycle involved with newer DMX lighting fixtures because there's a little computer chip in there and it takes a minute for them to boot just like your computer or your phone or anything else. Back in the old days they used to have something that went through like a duty cycle, automatic duty cycle for any lights that he had. Like it would turn certain lights off for a while and turn other lights on and then he would turn those lights off and the other lights back on so it would give him a variety. He's not really doing crazy lighting control, he's only trying to alternate lights. How would you do that in the age of DMX without using DMX because he doesn't want to do that? I got an idea. ADJ makes this thing called a PC100A. Now if you look online, those are like 30 bucks. Now just by chance, I've got an old PS1000A that I just installed on this workbench that I built last night. This thing is from probably the 80s and it's really simple. You plug things into the back of it and this is like an on off switch and they light up when you turn them on and that's it. Now some of mine are old and don't even light up like that doesn't light up anymore because it's 30 years old but it still works and I was thinking if a person really wanted to they could still use something like this as a mobile DJ if all they wanted to do was alternate lights. So here's how something like this might work. Let's say that we go ahead and turn on our first fixture which in this case is a mini decker. All right. It's going to kick on in just a second. It has that boot cycle. So there it is. Our mini decker is running. Now it's running sound active. If I tap on the workbench, it moves around, changes colors, and things like that. Now let's say a gentleman like Russ wanted to go ahead and change that up. You can turn on our next fixture, which is a crazy pocket eight. Now it's booting, but in the meantime, our mini decker is running. So our crazy pocket eight winds around and does its thing. And it eventually comes on, all right? It's calibrating. It takes a few seconds, maybe even a minute. But once it kicks on like it just did, you can go ahead and turn off your decker and you're running your crazy pocket eight. Now I also added this hex 100 to the mix. Now this has a real quick boot cycle. It comes on real fast and I've got this on just kind of an auto chase. It's watching the room. So now we're running the Crazy Pocket 8 and the Hex 100. All right, let's say I just want the wash. I can turn off the Hex 100 and leave on this wash. But now I've turned on my Decker and it's gonna kick on in like, I don't know, 10, 20 seconds, however long it takes. There we go, it didn't even take that long. Now it's on. Okay, now I wanna run my crazy pocket A2. I know this is ridiculous, I should have some music on, but uh, just a quick video on the shop. Calibrating, calibrating, calibrating. And it comes on. Now let's say that I don't want this wash anymore. I can just turn the wash off. It's not a big deal. And I'm running Crazy Pocket 8 and the Mini Decker. So it's possible. You have to do it manually, but it's possible. And you can still buy this thing. Not this exact one. Like I said, they've upgraded it quite a bit in 30 years. It is now called a PC100A. But yeah, this old American DJ PS1000A was just kind of a cool relic to stick in the bench. But as you can see, it's still functional. You can still do things like this and change up your light show. You know, it's not exactly on the beat, on the music, but I don't think that's what Russ wants anyway. He just wants to change his lights, sound active stuff, do what you got to do. That's how I suggest that a person could do something like this. Questions, comments, let me know down below. Thanks for watching. Practice and enjoy.